Hello everyone, this is Cole. I want to go over some of our ClearCom base stations that we have in the control room here at Westside. I wanna go over a couple of the key features that we use on Sundays and also hopefully make it a little bit more simple for you to understand what's going on in a broad scale of uh, the comm use. So as always, you have your headset and each station might have a different looking headset. You might have one that has two ears. You might have one that's lightweight, but really they all do the same thing. It's just to let you be able to hear and be able to speak using the microphone um, efficiently. So this can just fit on your head and if you have different size head, you can extend out each of these extensions just by pulling it. You can push it back in uh, the earpiece expands and also tilts like this. A cool feature on these headsets is this movable microphone. So you can wear it on the right side or if you'd like to, you could also wear it on the left side. It mutes if it is above 45 degrees. So about here, this microphone automatically mutes itself if it's up here. If it goes down here, the microphone's unmuted, but you may not even be talking. So. Uh, that's something to note. If it's up here and you hit talk, no one's going to hear you because it mutes itself. Same thing if it's here, so no one's going to hear you. Once it's about here, people will be able to hear you again. This plugs in with a four pin connector, just like that. You line it up with your four pin connector here, which actually you have to orientate it. So when you're here, once you have your headset on, you'll be able to talk to different channels and right now it's kind of in a loading screen it just says the position that this comm station is at we're at CG1 um, if we hit a button here we can now see different comm channels light up and you can read on the screen where you're talking to so this station currently has the production channel which has an all-encompassing everyone no matter where you're at will hear the production channel um, this is primarily used for the production manager it may be used from a producer you might also hear a director talk on this every once in a while uh, this line is primarily reserved so everyone in the entire production can hear if you're on CG1, you probably won't be using the production line very often. You'll probably be using the video room line. So you would be able to have that on. Um, you might also need to talk to a stage manager. So you could have the stage manager line on. This will ensure that you're only talking to the video room, which is the control room, and you're only talking to the stage manager. I know I'm doing that because these two buttons are lit up a little bit brighter. A great practice to get into is once you're sitting down and you have your headset on, go ahead and test your microphone uh, before uh, services or run through begins. You can hold down on the talk button on the production line and make sure your headset is in the right orientation and you can just say CG1 check, comm check, and you can let go and wait for a reply and that's how you know that your headset will be on and working and that people can hear you. Then you can go ahead and set up for your regular duties. Don't forget, as long as these buttons are pressed in, everyone can hear you that are on these lines. So if it's not important that you're on, you can keep these off and just press to talk. You can hold down video room and they can hear you. Once you let go, they can no longer hear you or just fast touch it and it will stay locked on. You can see there's knobs on each of these channels. These knobs twist, and whenever you twist, you can see the screen moves. And that is your volume for this individual channel. You can also mute when you do that, X's. Unmuted, muted. You just press in on the knob and it will mute and unmute. If you're at the production, or if you're at the CG1 station, you'll probably want the production line turned up. You'll probably want the video line turned up there's cameras on this line. Um, that is just for flexibility, uh, but stage, you'll wanna be able to hear the stage manager for cues sometimes, and that's there as well. You can see this light here, that's a link button. 
you won't need to know too much about that, but if it's flashing, that's a bad thing. So if you all of a sudden can't hear anything and you see that that's flashing, that's a great time to turn around and talk to the production manager so they can get you some help. There's also a little button or a little symbol here that says 4W. That is another engineering thing. You won't need to worry too much about that, but what it is is 4Wire. That connects our base stations in with our wireless. So right now I have the talk buttons lit here. I'm gonna turn them off. And you can see whenever I do that, another light turns off automatically. The mic on button turns off. If I hit any of these, the mic on turns on and off. You can see that happening here. Underneath that is a button that says headset. Uh, that should always be on. And there's also a menu button and you can access the menu through here. You don't need to access the menu because it's already set up for you. The button next to the talk button is the call button. If you press this, all of the other stations will flash and say call on this line only. Same with any of these other buttons. It corresponds to the channel that it's on specifically. Moving over here, there's some buttons that you really don't need to worry about. There's a stage announce button. That's not even connected on this specific piece of equipment. There's an all talk button. If you press this, everything lights up. You're talking to everybody in this moment. There's also an option button. The option button is disabled. Moving over, there is a main volume for you. You can turn this up and you can see the light turns red. That means it's very loud. You can turn it down and see it turns green. That means that it is very quiet or off. If you press this button in, you'll see that a green light turns on here. Now the speaker is on. If the speaker is on, you can hear what's happening in the room. Uh, it's just like speakerphone on your phone. Uh, if you're sitting here, I usually leave this on during the week. So if someone calls me from backstage, I can hear it in the control room and I can react accordingly. If we're during a service, we're going to make sure the speaker is turned off. This is something that's fairly easy to accidentally turn on. We don't want it on during a service. There's also the program audio here on the right side. The program audio is on this specific unit coming from our radial box. I'm gonna link that video below and you can look at what that means for you. That is only for computer graphics and for the teleprompter position. It's not important for anybody else. If you have any questions about COM and how it relates to your position, you can leave a comment below. I hope this clears up a few things about COM use.